Recent leaks and rumors within the gaming media sphere are talking about Xbox exclusive games coming over to PlayStation, that's including Halo. The reason why this is news now is because of this rumor of Xbox IPs coming to PlayStation tweet right here saying like Sea of Thieves, Hi-Fi Rush, Flight Simulator, Grounded, the Master Chief Collection, and its software titles. Now, one person tweeting out this information doesn't really mean a whole lot, but we saw this article on Forbes back in January 11th of this year saying Halo on PlayStation is no longer unthinkable in the new Xbox era. And here they talk about saying recent stack of rumors suggests that existing Xbox games like Hi-Fi Rush or Sea of Thieves may be heading to PlayStation, Switch, or both. Now in this article they specifically mentioned about like Halo Infinite's multiplayer coming over to PlayStation and other platforms. I think it's more just saying like why not because within that same logic you think that you put the main Xbox IPs over to other platforms. An article from Tom Warren on The Verge, very credible source as well, saying that Microsoft weighs in launching Indiana Jones on the PlayStation PlayStation 5 and basically the article talks about saying that the new game that's coming out that most likely it's the tentative date of December of 2024 for this Indiana Jones game to come out could come out on PlayStation 5 as a timed release after the Xbox initial release to be exclusive on there for a few months then come over to PlayStation. A tweet here from Tom Warren, again a very credible source with gaming insider information news, says I can confirm that Hi-Fi Rush Datamine is legit and these t-shirt textures files are in the game. It looks like Hi-Fi Rush is coming to PS5 and Nintendo Switch. And the guy who broke the news about Tatanka and that insider information Jess Corden said right here saying you'll see Halo on PlayStation eventually eventually, I reckon. So it's not just one person on the internet saying, bro, trust me, Halo's coming to PlayStation. There are multiple outlets saying this. So the big thing to take away from this information is that Xbox titles might be exclusive or timed exclusives on Xbox and then eventually come over to like the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation because those platforms are just so much larger than Xbox. Yeah, Xbox has a really big foot within the gaming sphere in the United States, but outside of the United States, it's all PlayStation and Switch. And Having such amazing IPs like Halo tied to the Xbox really limits the amount of people who can jump in and enjoy the product. And Xbox has always been kind of trailing like this third place behind Nintendo and PlayStation. They hey, maybe you never know. Maybe Xbox might be looking to kind of get away from the hardware side of things and just be a pure publisher, kind of like what Activision Blizzard has been for so many years. And I'm sure many of you have a big concern, like, well, what's gonna be the purpose of having an Xbox? And I have an Xbox, I like to play Halo. I don't want my ecosystem of being an Xbox player taken away from me or diminished in some capacity. I don't really feel like that's going to be the case. I feel like giving these other platforms an ability to enjoy these titles even more gives Xbox a bigger foot within the gaming industry as a whole. And Phil Spencer kind of touched on this. Reported back in November of 23, Phil Spencer, the CEO of Microsoft Gaming said this, whether you play on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, PC, or mobile, you are welcome here and will remain welcome. Even if Xbox isn't where you play, play for your favorite franchise because when everyone plays, we all win. Xbox is a community of players, so it's important to build a community of players across a variety of platforms, which gives the community and the brand even more strength. Just as we think of the ROG Ally and Steam Deck as part of the Xbox community, we need to think of the many Nintendo Switch and PlayStation users as part of the Xbox community in the future. So after hearing all these recent leaks and rumors going around, especially about Halo and other Xbox titles going to other platforms, hearing what Phil Spencer literally just said about saying having Nintendo and PlayStation players considered Xbox community members as well, how do you get those players to be part of the Xbox community? Well, you give them access to Xbox games. So giving them access to Sea of Thieves, Hi-Fi Rush, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Grounded, Halo the Master Chief Collection, ID's Next Title, multiple Bethesda titles as well. That's the way you give players the ability to be part of your ecosystem. I know there's a lot of people out there who have a big sense of pride when it comes to their platform, right? Because there are exclusives between each platform. And you want to justify your purchase and showcase why what you purchase purchase is the smarter, better option. But ultimately, it really just kind of comes down to personal preference. But I think also this opens the door for other franchises to come over to the Xbox side of things as well. Could we play the new God of War games? Could we play the new Spider-Man games on Xbox or on PC? 
Well, that would be amazing. We've seen PlayStation starting to put their games on the PC as well, like with The Last of Us and the God of War franchise. I think the timed exclusive still gives the purpose of having your specific platform, like with the Indiana Jones game projected to come out at the end of 2024, potentially it could be delayed from there. But given it some Xbox exclusivity time frame, like four, six months, whatever, then come out after the initial wave of sales, that would totally make a whole lot of sense. And now when it comes to just talking about Halo specifically, when it comes to this type of idea of Halo going beyond the Xbox and PC platform, I think it's a really good thing because more people getting a chance to play Halo is better. So many people online like to bring up the Steam numbers when it comes to Halo Infinite. Well, this is the opportunity to get more people to play the game. If your biggest issue is having a low population with Halo, why not branch out to the majority of the gaming audience out there to give people the opportunity to play these amazing franchises. Now keep in mind nothing official has been announced by Xbox but we usually we get this type of news and information originally from these leakers and insiders of the industry to talk about what's going to be coming around very soon and I think we might see these kind of announcements happening at the June Xbox showcase that happens every year. Basically it looks like Xbox is looking to branch out beyond their own specific platform to be a little bit more generous to other gamers out there to experience Xbox quality games. But of course once we get some official information you know, I'll share with you guys here on the channel. Now, Halo Infinite recently had a major update go live. And if you guys want to see my brutally honest review about that update, check out this video right here. Thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.